All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown. All three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Now, today I'm going to be showing you my entire C.S. Friedman book collection. Um... And we've got most everything she's written here. I know there's probably two or three books of hers that I don't have in my collection. Uh, maybe I'll get them, maybe I won't. We'll see. But I'm very proud of the collection I've got, and I've been collecting these books ever since the early 1990s when I first discovered C.S. Friedman, who is one of the best writers in science fiction history, in my opinion. Not only that, but uh, her books, books were all published by Daw Books, and the covers... The cover art for her books is always top-notch. So they're just great books to have. So let's start with where I first started reading C.S. Friedman. And that was with this magnificent science fiction novel, big, huge space opera epic saga story called In Conquest Born. And it's got this dope looking Michael Whalen painting on it that wraps around and just looks really cool. Now I know the original first edition versions of this there was I think the I think the guy was on the front but the girl was back here on the back but for some reason in subsequent printings they put both characters in the front which is cool because I, I actually kind of like both characters being on the front and we're going to talk about that kind of thing is kind of like similar to the second book she had published which we have this character on the front and that character on the back that was kind of the way this one was set up originally but anyway michael whalen can do no wrong when it comes to artwork this is a badass painting on the cover now when i first read c.s lewis uh c.s lewis I'll edit that out. When I first read C.S. Friedman's In Conquest Born, um, it was the closest thing to Dune I had ever read. Um, and I was mesmerized by the prose, the scope of the world building, and the characters were just so cool in this. In fact, in my own novels, and this is, I will have, this is the first time I'm ever admitting this, in my own novels, I have um, these horses that have these glowing red eyes. You can see the horse over here with the glowing red eyes. I'm going to admit, I stole that idea from this book, in which that uh, there's a gladiator in this book that takes a drug that gives his makes his eyes glow red. And as soon as I read that, back in the when I was a kid in the, in the 90s, and I read this, and I, that, I, I said, oh, if I ever write a book, I am putting a character or something with glowing red eyes, just as an homage to how much I loved this story. And I did it. I eventually did it. But I made the I made my horses, I turned my horses into gladiators and gave them glowing red eyes. But that's just a little bit of a history of how I created my own universe, um, being inspired by the great, great writers that came before me. Anyway. In Conquest Born was the first C.S. Friedman book I read. I immediately fell in love with it because it was the closest thing to Dune I had found at the time. Now, her second book, The Madness Season, which has a superbly dope Michael Whalen cover. And you could get different versions of this book when it came out. You could get the version where this guy was on the front, or you can get the version where this guy was on the front. Um, either way, it's cool, but this was a mind bending science fiction novel. This was uh, just, I was like, this is one of those science fiction novels. You got to really be paying attention to every single word to understand what's happening. And I've only read it once. I only, re I remember reading it in the nineties when it came out. I haven't read it since, but we will be rereading it for the channel and leaving a review at some point, but I can't wait to get back into it. Um, and then 
We've got um, her Cold Fire trilogy, of course, which came next with Black Sun Rising. Now, I have read and reviewed all of these Cold Fire books on the channel. So if you want to read my individual, if you want to watch my individual reviews of these books, just type in C.S. Friedman, my last name, and the, the book reviews will, you know, magically appear on your computer somehow. Um, but the Cold Fire trilogy is just a great science fantasy trilogy. It's sort of a mashup of space opera and, and fantasy. It's just really cool. And again, great Michael Whalen paintings on each one of them. These are like iconic Michael Whalen paintings. When True Night Falls is book number two. Just a great another of Michael. And then The Crown of Shadows, book number three. And all three books together in the trilogy just look really cool together. And then all the spines match and look dope, which Daw Books was always pretty good at that, making their stuff match. And then we had this Alien Shore, um, another Michael Whalen. This is another great space opera adventure the great michael whalen painting again i've read this only once when it came out i remember loving it and then we have um the wildling another great michael whalen painting and now the wildling is actually a direct sequel to conquest born so these books kind of go together and um let us talk about now we've got um this book, which was sent to me, this book was, this is the newest book C.S. Friedman wrote, just came out a month or two ago. Daw Books sent this to me because they know that I love C.S. Friedman. They've seen some of my book reviews. They know who I am just because of, you know, I'm in the business. But um, they wanted me to give, they knew that I love C.S. Friedman. So they actually sent this to me to read and review on the channel, which I did. You can watch my review. This is a prequel. This book is a prequel to the Cold Fire trilogy over here. All right, and it was very cool. Now we've got the sequel trilogy to the Cold Fire. So the Cold Fire trilogy, the prequel, and now we've got a sequel trilogy to the Cold Fire. And this is the, um, the Magister trilogy, which takes place in the same universe as the Cold Fire trilogy, but as sequels. Great, great artwork. Not Michael Whalen though. These are all done by one of my other favorite fantasy artists, and that's John Jude Palencar. And those are gorgeous covers that wrap around. Oh, that was that was dope. That one's cool. I like that one. Great covers. And the Magister trilogy, which came out in probably the early 2000s, I think. It was great, too. And that, my friends, is my entire C.S. Friedman book collection. A great set of books to have in my library. One of my most cherished set of books in the library. C.S. Friedman, everybody needs to be reading her. One of the greatest, greatest science fiction authors of all time.